Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be doing a full day wear test and try on of the new Shameless Foundation from Marc Jacobs. This has an excellent shade range. I'm actually really excited to try this because in the past I have been obsessed with the Genius Gel. They discontinued that and now they have the Shameless Foundation. I'm gonna go into a lot of what the claims are and the ingredients and all of that. And then of course do like the full day wear test thing. It says it will give you a natural finish and a more youthful look for 24 hours. So it claims to be very long wearing. We will see about that. I have a brush that is uh, made specially for this foundation. I also have a sponge. It does say on Sephora that you can use, you know, both depending on what kind of finish you want. I have already primed my skin with this guy right here. The Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. I I always feel really good about myself when I can say the entire name of this in just one fail swoop. That's an intense name. This is a cooling foam primer. I did a video on Tuesday been using it every day. I'm really, really, really impressed. Before we dive into everything, you guys, I am gonna take my Halo Hair, Skin, and Nails booster on camera because a bunch of you have requested that. You wanna see that I'm actually taking it, so I'm gonna take it on camera. I take two capsules together in the morning, usually after I have a smoothie or something like that, just because it's what works best for my routine, but you can take it with food, without food. It's totally your preference. It is ideal to take two capsules together unless otherwise directed by your doctor. So. I'm going to take my beautiful, gorgeous halo. You guys, this bottle, by the way, let me have like two seconds to explain something. In my own defense, um, I don't want my channel to turn into like constantly defending my product. I think that's kind of ridiculous, but the bottle is not from Alibaba. The bottle is not pick off the shelf and you know order a bunch of them. This is actually a custom bottle. I have the uh, tooling. No one else can make this bottle, but me, I have spent do I even share this or not? I've spent hundreds of thousands. Um, this whole Halo brand cost me a lot of money. I did not get investors. I'm super proud of that. The product is working for so many people already and I think the results are gonna tell the story. I have said that from day one and I mean it. I really mean it when I say this is a different product. When you look in the mirror, you're gonna see results. And I stand by that and all the before and afters that are already pouring in, just tell the story. So I'm really, really excited and I take this every single day. It is the best thing for my hair, skin, and nails. I stand by it and bottoms up. Okay. Oh, you can also. <laughs> Also, if you have a hard time taking pills, you definitely can open the capsules up, sprinkle them in a little juice, in a little oatmeal, in a smoothie. That is an option for those of you out there that are like, I wanna take this, but I can't because I don't like swallowing pills. So I wanted to share that as well. And I'm just gonna set her back with the rest of my products. That's kind of why I wanted the bottle to look so beautiful too and not like an ugly bottle of vitamins is I keep this with my beauty products so I'm reminded in the morning, oh hey, like get it together, take your halo because they're not gonna work unless you take them. I'm gonna scooch the camera a little closer and we are gonna get to applying the Shameless Foundation. Doesn't that remind you of the TV show? Interesting name for a foundation. I will be using the shade Medium R300. It is a medium tone, obviously, with beige undertones. And this looks like it's gonna be a really nice match. I did get sent every single shade in PR, but I don't wanna swatch everything because I feel like I just wanna donate it. I'm gonna go in and just kinda squirt a little on my glass palette right here. When the fuck, what happened to my brush? Has anybody seen that? This is brand new. We're gonna try out the brush on one half and a sponge on the other. Now this says it's a medium coverage. It has a natural finish and you can build the coverage up. It's meant to look more like a very natural, like your skin but better situation. That's the vibe that I'm getting when I read everything on Sephora. This does say that it's for every skin type out there. So it is for sensitive, it's for oily, it's for dry, it's for everyone. not really doing a whole lot. This does have something called snow mushroom, which is said to be nature's hyaluronic acid. So it's going to really plump the skin and attract moisture to the skin. I thought that was kind of cool. They have a patented 
milling process on how the product is made and designed and how it's supposed to sink into the skin. I kind of feel like I just blended nothing on my skin and I used quite a bit of the product. Okay, hold on, let's just keep going. All right, so in this region right here, I have tried to blend and the problem is it's pulling the foundation off this area of my face every time I go back in to blend, so that is a concern. This is a very natural looking foundation. I would not say that this is medium coverage at all. It's, it's a very almost like tinted moisturizer coverage. We're gonna go in with a sponge on the other side and pray to high heaven that we can build this up. I wanted to go for more of like, not full glam today, but not like tinted moisturizer, nothing makeup either, you know? I can 100% say that I feel the sponge is the way to go with this. I feel that if you are doing any wiping motions, you risk wiping the foundation off and that's where you run into problems. So if you are using a stamping motion, you're gonna be able to build it up really nicely and it does look natural and nice. I am not hating it. I'm not a fan of this though. I will not be using this again. This brush is just too expensive for what it is and it didn't blend the foundation out nicely for me at all. Oh, what? In the heck? Um, no. Oh my God. Okay, so this is actually my like least favorite thing that happens with a foundation. Huge points deducted because I don't like it when the product moves and almost just does not sink into the skin. And it's almost like if you bump your skin or do anything, it just moves the product everywhere and then it looks bunchy and almost like it's peeling off the skin and it exposes the skin underneath that doesn't have foundation on it and then it looks blotchy. All right, let me do up the other side of my face a little bit more with the sponge so I can have more even coverage on both sides. By the way, you do get 1.08 fluid ounces and I am using quite a bit. All right, and we're gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use some Estee Lauder. The concealer is blending on top of it just fine, but I can already tell this foundation, it almost feels sticky and I don't like that. All right, so I obviously have the rest of my makeup on and once I set everything, the foundation is not bad. It's not my favorite, like it's not immediately making me really excited. The blending issue and then just how it feels, like even right now with powder and everything else on, it does feel a little uncomfortable and sticky and kind of like, you know when you put lotion on at night and it doesn't sink into the skin all the way and it kind of has that greasy feel to it? That's what it feels like. Obviously that's not what it looks like on my face. My face is set, everything looks fine, but I wanna see how this wears the rest of the day. So we're gonna do a bunch of check-ins. I did also try out the Urban Decay Back Talk Palette. This is so weird, you guys. <laughs> the mirror like comes out of it. Anyway, if you're wondering what the whole purple situation is on my eyes, and then I did take this from Stila Gypsy. I put that just right here. I think it looks really, really pretty. So I'm testing out some new Sephora stuff. I think I'm gonna do a Hot or Not Sephora tested, like not a first impressions coming up maybe next week. So there we have it. That's the scoop. All right, I will see you guys in a few hours from now and we will see how this foundation is wearing. I hear you hate your foundation. Oh my god, so <laughs> you're not supposed to be in charge of the vlog camera, James. Take your camera, back. Oh my gosh, okay guys, so um, quick check-in. I was about to film another video and I'm like, I really, really want to touch up my face because areas are kind of just like cracking apart and creasing. And then I noticed down here, like it literally looked like it was a dry, piece of cement, you know, where like the crackles and the lines, like it's like breaking apart or when a face mask dries down. I know that sounds really extreme, but if you look super, super close up and whenever I'm touching up my makeup, I do look really close into a magnifying mirror. Terrifying, I know. Um, and I can see everything. So I can see that happening from far away. You can't really see that it looks bad, but this is the update right now. It's around 3.30 and 
it's not getting any better it's kind of going downhill so i am going to do more check-ins and we will see what's up later on tonight it's not getting overly greasy like i thought it would and it's not oxidizing so those are two really good things this just might not mix well with my skin so i'm going to keep it going and yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit all right you guys so whew around seven o'clock now it's still a little bit light outside you know daylight savings at first i always hate it so much because it puts me in a fog but i am so enjoying that there's just like a little bit of light outside left i have my fireplace going um it's been really really cold today but my house right now is like a sauna i just it's like two extremes it's freezing outside it's a sauna in here i need to find some balance anyway all right you guys here's the full scoop my skin is not really dry right now. My skin is actually doing amazing, but this is like clinging on to everything in a way that I don't want it to. It's exaggerating things that I don't want it to, and I'm just not a fan of that. So it's breaking apart around my nose, in my chin. I feel like anytime I have bumped my face at all, it's left blotchiness. This just transfers so easily that it drives me insane and it doesn't feel really good on my skin. All right, you guys, so here's my final check-in in front of lights, a little close up so that you can see right through here, this is like breaking apart. Right here looks drier than it should because I'm not really dry in this area right now, so that's kind of strange. And just the fact that it's rubbing off really easily is also just a texture weird thing that I'm not liking about this. It didn't oxidize, it didn't make me super oily, it did wear a long time, but there's just too many negatives for me that I just... I'm not loving it. All right, you guys, so we know how I feel about the foundation. I think there are better out there. It doesn't mean that it's horrible. It's just not up to the standard of what I look for in a foundation. And what I look for is something that minimizes my pores a bit, something that is a little more full coverage, that wears better without any transfer or blotchiness. And I just didn't think that this enhanced my skin. It evened things out, but it didn't make me feel better. I feel like my powder and blush and bronzer added more than the actual foundation did. So this is a pass for me, but I die hard love Marc Jacobs. So do not get it twisted at all. I mean, look behind me. I have displayed in the back of every video for like the past 200 videos, these eyeshadow palettes. And that's because these are some of my favorites. I love how sleek they are. I love the pigmentation. I love the blend. I do actually think these are worth the hype and the price and I thought I would share with you my three favorites. This is the Glambition, Glambition palette. Look how beautiful that is. You just could do a, a neutral, gorgeous look every day of your life with this palette. It's so good and just the way that these shadows are milled, they are so finely milled that they just blend effortlessly. There's not fallout, there's not anything that is going to look messy or patchy. This swatched on my hand and I had just put um, a makeup remover wipe on with oil, so ignore that that's a little patchy. They're not, they go in the crease and they're just like, it's just perfect. The other one that I love, and this is, I mean, you can tell how loved this one is. I used to contour my nose with this shade in particular all of the time. This is the Lolita palette and this was the first one that I purchased and Oh, it's so good. I die hard love this one. And then for a little more color, just like a little more fun, I do really enjoy this one right here. I think that the warm tones in here are actually super flattering. If you're a person that doesn't always love super, super warm tones, but you kind of want to play in that realm a little bit, this shade for some reason, although very, very warm toned, just complements a lot of different makeup looks. I don't know. It's just, it works. It works really well with so many different looks and I love this especially smudged under the lower lash line if you have green eyes this shade in particular just like wow it just sets them right off and this is the Scandalust palette I also super love their glosses a whole lot sugar sugar is one of Jaclyn Hill's favorites and I actually got this because of her it's just so nice it's very very minty and very shiny but the color is still there but it's not opaque. So it's just this nice in-between sheer and opaque gloss that's super shiny and has a nice mintiness to it. So that was Sugar Sugar. And then Love Buzz, I also really like. It's like a lilac with a little bit of a golden type of a metallic thing going on. And then of course I love these Dew Drops. This is the Do You Dew Drops. I'm just gonna put some on so you guys can see the magic. 
This even on bare skin, just on the high points of your skin if you don't wanna wear foundation, but you want just like a little bit of glow. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful and it smells like coconut. And I definitely think this one lives up to the hype. And that is where we land, all right? I don't like the foundation, but I do have so much love for Marc Jacobs as a brand. And I will always try new things when they come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you wanna see next. If you thought the foundation looked good, if you didn't, leave that in the comments below. I really like my eyeshadow, like side note, this is Urban Decay and I am gonna be talking about that in an upcoming video. Uh, so stay tuned and I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.